Okay, so when I kickflip, I either land both feet on the tail or just my bottom foot on the tail. Help me, please. Thanks a lot for sending in your video. I will do my best to help you. I gotta say, this is the craziest kickflip I've ever seen. No offense. It's just I've never seen anybody be able to land, like, perfectly with both feet right on the tail. I honestly think that that, that right there, that's pretty incredible. And part of me wants you to just do kickflips like that forever. But I know it's kind of hard to do that rolling and still keep rolling, so I'm going to do my best to help you out. Cool. So your flick, it doesn't look actually all that bad. Um, at least the majority of the time your foot even though it's flicking kind of off to the side and down a little bit, you still get both feet above the board. But the main thing that I noticed, and I think the main thing we need to fix, is how stiff your legs are. So you bend down and you bend your knees, and then you flick the board, but both of your legs go really stiff. And it's just really hard to keep your legs like above the board if they're going to be so stiff. You need to jump with both feet. So you need to jump up in the air, and jumping up in the air includes bending your knees. I'll show you what I mean right here. So your front foot slides up, and you begin to do the flick. I'm going to help you with your flick a little bit too, because I think that will improve. But look at how stiff your legs are. Both legs are like completely straight. And I think that's like your biggest problem. You got to flick more off the front of the nose. And then, like on these frames right here, your legs should be fully bent, and you should be jumping. So I'm going to help you get your flick corrected so that your board is more leveled out in the air, and you're not landing and causing the flip to be like with your tail down and your nose up. So here I'm going to show you my flick right there. Notice how much more my foot goes up and off the nose. I'm going to slide it straight up and then my toe goes up. I know that's the thing I always, always emphasize is that the front foot must go up. It's literally just a law of gravity. Your foot goes up, your board goes up. And you want your board to go up because you want to kickflip in the air. So this basically what I want you to do is stand still on your board and practice sliding your foot up, like literally dragging the toe of your shoe up and then popping it off of the nose just like that. Pop. Slide it. Pop. And then that action of literally like lifting your heel up at the very end is going to help you give the board the level out motion that you need on the kickflip. Other than that, you just need to practice like jumping. I'd love to see what your ollies look like and your shove -its and your front side 180s. Because if you have those down well and you're jumping well on them, then I don't see any reason why you can't do it on the kickflip other than maybe just correcting a little points on your flick. So again, instead of flicking your foot off the side, try and take it more off the nose and that's going to level out your board more and suck the board up into your feet as well. But also, make sure you're jumping with both feet and bending your knees. That is the most important thing I want to get across to you. Pop with your back foot, jump up with both feet, and bend both knees in the air. I highly, highly, highly recommend checking out Skateboarding Made Simple because it covers all of the tricks before kickflip. And if you literally master every one of those steps, then you're going to jump right into the kickflip and get it before you know it. The video just helps you correct things that you're doing incorrectly because you could practice a trick for months you could practice it incorrectly. So click the red annotation and get the video now.